Hey Gemini, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Thursday, March 25th. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. At the heart of your reading, we have the Fool in Reverse and the Page of Wands in Reverse. Hmm... I get the impression of, of testing the waters. Like, you're not quite sure if you want to take the leap. This is like cautious energy. It's curious but reserved. Let's see what has these energies reversed. Justice and the Five of Wands reversed. Finding balance. Finding the sweet spot. Overcoming some sort of conflict. Hmm. Five of Wands can be a struggle. Okay, let's see how this shapes up. I'll come back and clarify if need be. I have a feeling it's going to start to make more sense in a second. Let's see your focus. Strength in reverse. Um, opening up, being more vulnerable, perhaps sharing internal struggles. We might be getting at something internal with this Five of Wands because Strength in Reverse is definitely um, like, it's admitting weaknesses from the desire or motivated from the desire to improve. And this all could be internal, like admitting to yourself the ways in which you want to improve. To, with justice, to, to, to achieve better balance. To see things as less of uh, a conflict or less difficult. Hmm. Because whatever this Five of Wands justice energy represents for you, that's what's keeping you from jumping in the deep end of something that's super interesting to you. I'm getting this strange energy of like a bunch of children at a, at a pool. <laughs> And all the kids are playing and having a lot of fun in the pool, but then here's Gemini on the edge, looking at all the fun and thinking, I don't know, that looks difficult. Should I do it? I don't know. Should I do it? I don't think so. I don't think I want to do that. That looks like a lot of fun. And it's like this. You're, you're working on something with this strength in reverse like gearing up the courage to jump in something that looks like fun. Show me the recent past. What led up to this for Gemini? Eight of Pentacles. If this is a situation you've been dealing with for a while, you could be really putting in the work, self-development, analyzing yourself, working on yourself trying to improve yourself. If this is something um, isolated in your life or something relatively new, the Eight of Pentacles might be here to tell us you've just been really busy with work. You've been really focused on like staying busy, 
having like a, a very full calendar and just being committed to doing what needs to be done in life. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Gemini's environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? Oh, the devil. Interesting. You might be faced with this, um, whatever this, you know, the analogy of being at the pool, watching everyone have fun, and this thing is stopping you from jumping in. Whatever's stopping you, that could be the, like, the, the devil on your shoulder or the inner demon, so to speak, that's um, talking you out of doing something you would really enjoy. The devil is any way in which we limit our own progress, um, self-limiting beliefs or behaviors, the lies we tell ourselves to stop us from doing what you're trying to do, self-improvement, growing, evolving. There's another aspect, however, to the devil that I think is relevant here, and that is allowing yourself to experience pleasure, to just have fun, to let go and like let loose and enjoy that sort of hedonistic, like I deserve pleasure for pleasure's sake. Let me just let loose and have fun. And I think there's, there's an aspect of that going on here too. and balancing the two, right? Show me the near future. How does this story unfold for Gemini? Four of cups reversed, two of wands reversed, three of wands reversed. Four of Cups reversed would suggest that you're going to jump in the pool. It's going to be something that you've looked at for a while. It's been offered to you. All your friends have been in there saying, come on, come on, jump in. It's fun. And you've been like, no, no, I'm okay over here. Thanks so much. I'm good. And then the reversal of that energy is the moment that you put on a big grin and just cannonball in and like dive in the deep end. Um, now let me take a look at the Two of Wands, Three of Wands situation. We could be saying you're coming up with a new plan and you're no longer waiting for what you what were you waiting for three of wands is that you were waiting for something the reversal is you stopped waiting you got tired of waiting or impatient I don't know, we might be talking about just like you're tired of holding yourself back. You might be saying, I'm not going to wait for the perfect plan to show up. The conditions don't have to be perfect for me to enjoy myself and jump in. Show me um, surprise energy for Gemini.
What is going to influence the situation that Gemini doesn't see coming? Eight of Cups in reverse. To extend the metaphor a bit wider, you may have gone home from the pool party. You may have said, okay, there's this thing in my life that looks really exciting, but that fun is going on over there. I just can't jump in. I'm going to pack up my towel and head home. This, is, this would be like sitting at home and thinking, you know what? Screw it. I'm going back. I'm going to go back and have fun. Eight of Cups reversed is feeling better about things, feeling like you're happier, like the exit made you happy, and that allows for you to return to somewhere that you want to be. Uh, there, there's also the, the grass wasn't greener on the other side possibility with the Eight of Cups reversed. Um, you might have left to try something else out. You might have left and said, oh, you know what? This other party that's going on over there, I think that's going to be more my speed. You tried out something else and now you're coming back to this other thing thinking, okay, it wasn't that interesting to me or I thought maybe this wasn't for me. So I wasn't going to take the leap. I wasn't going to jump in. But I've exited, and now I'm coming back. Show me hopes and fears. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Making a decision? Can we double down on making a decision here um, on the topic? So we have Two of Swords and Judgment, the two cards in the tarot that talk about making a decision. Um, I mean, we could throw, <laughs> we could, <laughs> you guys, I was just going to say we could throw the Two of Pentacles in there for good measure. <laughs> and here he is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Um, at least in this, in this instance, you've made the decision. Um, I feel like choosing in this scenario creates a lot of anxiety for you. It's not as easy as just jumping in. There's a lot behind that decision that's important for you to process before you're comfortable taking the plunge. Let's see your end result. You guys, Ten of Pentacles, the life that you want. This is, okay, it's not dictating to you what outcome you're going to have. It's literally saying the outcome that you want is what you're, what you're headed toward right now. You're doing the work. You're working on yourself. You're headed toward an abundant life, uh, a happy life the sort of life that you want to be living. Your advice. Um, believe that a storybook romance is in the cards for you. Pun intended. Six of Cups, lovers. This is like Yes, you can be that happy. Yes, if you jump in here, um, the person that you care about is going to be there to, to grab you and hold you and just love you. This is like, you're going to be okay. You're going to be more than okay. You're going to be very happy. Romance abounds. 
they just threw the romance in there at the end. It wasn't clear that we were talking about romance, you guys. Okay, I hope that helped, Gemini. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.